Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Mahalo, Evan. Today's guest is Admiral Thomas Fargo, retired commander of the U.S. Pacific Command and is currently the CEO of Trex Enterprises. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, Admiral Thomas Fargo. Welcome to our show, Admiral. It's great to be with you. So as Admiral, could you explain to us what you do on a daily basis? Wow, on a daily basis. thats You always have to start with the tough questions, don't you? Well, the, the day is, uh, is pretty full. It, uh, I have an office right downtown here at the Pacific Guardian Center, and I probably get into the office about 7 o'clock in, in the morning and, and focus on primarily Trex Enterprises because that's my what I call my day job. Of course, you can't live in Hawaii without doing lots of different things. And so uh, the day is certainly taken up with making sure that we've provided the right direction to uh, the different component parts of Trex as well as some of their subsidiaries, which I actually chair. Could you tell us what Trex is? Well, Trex is a high-tech research and development company, primarily working contracts uh, for the Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, And Trex really has leading-edge technologies in areas such as passive millimeter wave imaging, uh, strategic materials, uh, sensors, things that really are going to take this country into the next decade. What are those things for the layperson? What would those things be? Well, what that equates to, uh, passive millimeter wave sensors will provide us the ability to detect, for example, a suicide bomber. In other words, right now when you get to the airport, you have to go through a, a metal detector. And the metal detector, of course, can detect uh, you know, a metallic gun or things that uh, would register on a, a magnetometer. Uh, but it won't tell you is what's under their clothing that's not metallic, like plastic explosives and things like that. Uh, passive millimeter wave uh, sensors and, and imagers uh, give you a, a view of the kinds of things that could be hidden under a jacket, for example, or under a shirt or a sweatshirt. Uh, so it will be the next generation that allows you to move through an airport uh, quickly and efficiently and, of course, safely. So what's the story behind moving from being Admiral of the Pacific Command to going into Trex Enterprises? Well, you know, when you get out of the Navy, uh, there there are lots of opportunities that present themselves. I wanted to go into business. I was looking for an opportunity to do a, a couple things. One, we very much wanted to stay in the in the Pacific and very particularly in Hawaii. And the second thing I wanted to do was have a career uh, that was uh, different than what I'd been doing for the previous 35 years, which uh, was to get into the private sector. So Trex presented an opportunity to use some of the expertise that I'd uh, developed over the past 35 years in the Navy and and take it into the private sector. And then why would you want to do something after you're done with the military? You spent so many years there. Why not just retire and and hang out? <laughs> well, well, that would be ideal, I guess, but I, I've got a new definition for retirement. Uh, retirement is when you uh, no longer have either a child in college or a mortgage payment, and I have one of each, so it's not quite time to retire. When you say particularly in Hawaii, where you wanted to be located, why Hawaii? Well, you know, we've lived all over the, the world, really. I grew up in a Navy family, and we moved every two years, spent a lot of time in Washington, D.C., uh, and on the West Coast, lived in in Bahrain, in the Persian Gulf, and and also in in Japan. But my last six years were right here in Hawaii, and we really developed a sense of community, and and all our friends really are are right here. So uh, friends and a sense of community kept us here in Hawaii. Now, you said that you traveled a lot because you grew up in a Navy family. Could you tell us some of your fondest memories as a child growing up and traveling that made you want to also be a part of the military? Well, I think the reason that I I joined the Navy was because I I looked at the life my parents lived in the Navy, and it was clear to me that they were they were both very happy. My father and my mother they enjoyed the travel, they enjoyed the people they met, and certainly it was a tremendously rewarding job. So you know I saw that firsthand, and I'm sure that was a, a huge motivator. But I also got a chance to travel with them, also, and we lived in Japan, for example for two and a half years of my time in, in high school in, uh, in Sasebo, Japan, 
and, and of course, uh, the chance to see a, a different culture, uh, a different uh, way of life it was something that I recognized I was particularly attracted to. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.